Hi guys, welcome to your March 2022. This is going to be the Dare Confessions. This is Pisces season. This is the first half of March, okay? So everything that you need, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Everything you need, caps for you and your collective is below in the description box. Thank you guys for your patience. So I am going to go ahead and do the top three that I've already posted. I'm going to get your confessions out and then we're going to revert back to the top three based upon the wheel. Um, I just wanted to, I didn't think that it made sense not to go ahead and just give you yours since you were the first that I had um, uploaded. Okay. Everything that you need Capricorn for you and your collective is below in the description box. Okay. I am just getting back. I got back late last night. So anybody that is waiting for a product from me, video, audio, or text. Please allow me to get reacclimated. Um, as you guys know, when I'm traveling, there is no work unless otherwise noted. And for this trip, there actually was no work. I was shocked. I was just telling tourists that that kind of violates the Capricorn in me. Let's get started. If you're new here with me, I think I said hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, and what's good, fam, bam, so hello to my members and my patrons. Let's get started. Me, you, and the cards. What are they confessing? If I can turn it around, I don't understand what you see in me. I do not feel attractive. Is that how we're starting? Well, it's, pl it's pretty clear, Cap, that this person does not have the um, the esteem that they that they pr they pretend to have. I feel like this person is uh, possibly successful or has amassed some type of wealth or some type of um, what are we looking for? Um, amassed some sort of um, possessions, you know. Um, some things that another person can look at and be like, oh yeah, he or she has this, but they don't see what you see in them. They don't feel attractive. They just kind of go along to get along Capricorn instantly. Oh, I'm feeling like you actually should, could be dealing with someone with Capricorn in their chart. Uno momento. And the reason why I say that this individual has Capricorn in their chart is because, um, I do feel like, um, there is a understanding here. Like you don't chase. Um, you're not going to do any of that caps. You have a way of um, carrying yourself where you're not going to chase and do certain things. Again, it all depends on um, what flavor your Capricorn is. But for this particular um, individual, um, I feel like there is a mutual respect. They can respect you for your contributions. You can respect them for theirs. Um, but I do feel like the next card indicated that flew across that I had to pause for to go and get. We are living two separate lives and you guys are living two separate lives. Excuse me. Um, I'm feeling like there is, again, this mutual respect, this this level of understanding, but unspoken understanding where you have really just grown to accept maybe this person for who they are. Um, and that's actually not bad. The only um, advice that I have for you is don't put your life on hold. Um, they feel abandoned by you. Um, they actually, unfortunately, Capricorn want you to do something that you're not going to do, which is chase. That's just not what you're going to do. Now it depends on your flavor of cap. Okay. So don't get that twisted, but I'm just feeling like they want you to chase. If you say something wrong, they're taking it the wrong way. Um, there is a level of, again, I don't understand what you see in me. I do not feel attractive. That's uh, possibly detrimented first house stuff, Chiron and Aries type energy. Um, there could be some fire in this person's chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm feeling more Aries possibly. Um Again, they're earning house as well, aspected, so they can have good aspects and have a really good, strong sign um, that makes them go and get those things. But their abandonment keeps them um, moving and accomplishing, accomplishing things and amassing wealth in certain things, Capricorn. And all of this, I'm what, how many minutes am I? And I said nothing about Capricorn and how they feel. Obviously, it's their confession, but it's just interesting how... Um, they feel abandoned by you because you won't chase and it triggers their childhood traumas. They need someone that's going to fall all over them and tell them how special they are. And you're not going to do that. Childhood trauma. Some of you guys could have known this individual when they were a child or when you guys possibly were younger or there was some significant damage that was done 
um, in that time frame. Um, and maybe you do know about some and maybe you don't know about some. We do have, I am embarrassed by my actions and feel disgusted with myself. There is such a level of not wanting to disappoint Capricorn, but at the same time, um, I disappoint Capricorn. You will see with the next card because it came out. Your cards are coming out in twos. So you could be dealing with mutable energy, a person who has one way of looking at things, but then changes their mind really quick or, um, maybe a Libra uh, Capricorn, which I really don't see that being successful, but somebody that has Libra in their chart um, who is definitely able to um, look at both sides. And sometimes Libras are misunderstood, Libra rising here, um, although um, because you want to um, um, feel uh, both sides or you want to be diplomatic, but you're constantly due to the circumstances of the situation you have to choose. Um, and I, of course, I don't have any problem with that um, because I resonate more with my earth. But I do know that it does play out when it's a Libra sun versus a rising or anything else. So you could be dealing with that. Uh, back to this individual, they do feel disgusted um, by their actions and they feel disgusted by um, uh, um, with some of the things that they put you through um, with, they, with them knowing they want you to read their mind um, and uno momento. Sorry, guys. Capricorn. What's interesting, too, is I am not sure that I can meet your expectations because the pressure is too much for me. The pressure that exists, Cap, is the pressure that they put on, them, on themselves. Don't get this twisted. Like The pressure is to meet these expectations they're the ones that struggling with their own actions. They're the ones that have these childhood traumas. And it's possible that you could have even done some things that um, you don't even know that you did. We'll find out um, um, at the end when we get um, some of the um, uh, three cards that represent other things that, you know, we may not know that you guys may be dealing with. But, you know, I'm feeling like this person knows damn well, like put it like this. Um they feel embarrassed and disgusted. They have their own childhood traumas and things that they need to figure out. Something with relationships, something that went wrong, Capricorn. Um, they don't feel attractive. When I see child, childhood traumas and not feeling attractive, this, this definitely screams, I don't know, some type of childhood uh, surgery. That will do it, guys. You'll be surprised. Like, um, 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 I'm feeling like some type of surgery, um, some type of defining moment in their childhood. This is the reason why they don't feel attractive. So I want you to keep in mind the way that these cards come out is not a mistake. Okay. Um, and they don't feel attractive and they don't see what you see in them. And because of the impossible, sorry, I feel like something's in my eye. Because of these impossible expectations that they are perceiving that you're giving them, that they're actually putting pressure on themselves, this is the reason why they say that the pressure is too much. Also, when I get this card, for your person, I, it's a little bit different I um, because I am feeling that this person really is, you guys are really on the same page. Now, don't take that the wrong way. When I say that, there is just still this incredible mutual respect at the same time. You have kind of made a, a, a doorway, um, uh, Capricorn, or an opening for this individual to kind of run off and go and hide and go and bur you know, bury themselves or burrow themselves down into whatever their coping mechanism is because you will not chase. <laughs> so again, it really depends on what, you know, flavor your cap is, but, um, I just feel like there is this understanding without understanding that you guys have where you won't push. And maybe, you know, for some of you guys, you should maybe not push and, is what is causing some of the issues. If you have expectations to move forward with this individual cap, if you don't, and you know that there is this romantic, we'll see what these other cards say, but there's like this undertone of romance that nobody's cracked away at. 
then it's like, what is this? But you may not be compelled to call it anything. Again, that's that line where if you may be water in earth, yeah, you want to know. If you're fire in earth, yeah, not so much. As long as you're getting what you get from it. If you are air in earth, you can forget about it. You damn sure want to know. And you're going to ask those questions over and over again until you find out so much so that you guys are going to be talking about it constantly because you need to know. And if, again, who am I missing? If you're double earth, you definitely are, are you know, you don't care. You're just like, you know, whatever. So they feel overwhelmed and they're drowning in their own thoughts. This person needs to really go. And you know what? When they feel their pain, they hide themselves from you, but at the same time, you do know and are aware of some of the pain because they also need your counsel cap. They need your nurture, but they don't tell, okay, I got it. They tell you about everything that is going on with them as long as it don't involve you. <laughs> then that's when it's off limits. They're like, no, nah, I'm not telling Cap. Because Capricorn, they can tell you everything. They appreciate your counsel. They appreciate you being there for them. But when it comes down to telling you what they feel about you, then that's when they're overwhelmed and they're drowning in their own thoughts. Um, and there's probably things that they don't tell you when it comes down to dealing with other individuals or their friendships or whatever they may be doing with other individuals. Um, I feel abandoned by you and this triggering my childhood traumas underneath that we have. I feel cold and detached from the from the connection and can't feel emotions right now. Well, the cold and detached from the connection goes back to the childhood trauma. So, again, this person is letting you know that they feel abandoned. They feel cold and detached from connections. That's why you guys are living separate lives. That's why they feel um, overwhelmed. That's why they don't understand what you see in them. That's the reason why they cannot meet your expectations. Yet at the same breath, in the same breath, they love you enough, believe it or not, and care about you enough where they feel embarrassed by their actions and they are disgusted with themselves because they don't know what the hell is going on with them. One moment they're up and the next moment they're down. I um, uh, had um, a, yes, I had um, a Capricorn client of mine um, and we were doing our check-in and um, I was checking in with her. She's going to watch this video. I promise I'm not going to tell. I'm bound by client um, <laughs> confidentiality. But um, let me say, she got in contact with her person and was just popping off like things that are now coming up in the surface and you're uh, is bubbling up on the surface. You're going to find that in Pisces season, everybody is going to be just a, a little extra a little bit extra in they feels and these people came back up cap and she was just popping off all of these people da -da -da -da, like so you do have your moments don't get don't get me wrong now where my capricorn placement is i will let you know even if you didn't ask for it but that's because that's my flavor you may have that flavor where you may wave it off but don't get it twisted don't 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 get used to that because you will let this individual know I'm not dealing with you no more. And and you you don't hold it. Don't hold it. Mercury is going to be moving into Pisces um, this week. When Mercury moves into a sign where it is in its detriment, we're going to feel like it's a Mercury retrograde. So get ready. Okay. And then finally, we do have our smile on the outside, but I am dying on the inside. Um, and that is exactly another thing that I feel for them. On one hand, I feel very much so that they're embarrassed and they're dying, period. They're dying because deep down inside, they're so damn confused, but they could be dealing with something much bigger. And they mask it by their success and they're not dealing with it. And that is what's unfortunate, okay? They are embarrassed. If, if, if you were to tell someone, Capricorn, see, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this, this top uh, card. 
if you were to tell someone Capricorn um, that you guys both knew about their actions, they would be completely embarrassed if people actually knew how they act. When people find out about some of the things that this, this person does, they are very, very much so embarrassed. Um, they do have a lot going on in their life that requires their full attention. Um, I do not feel like this is romantic. I feel like, honestly, and I don't want to say mental illness, but I feel like this is some type of depression or something that they're dealing with. Um, they don't know how to handle their life and deal with, their, like I said, they can come to you and completely spill their guts to you about everything except you. Let's get some more um, um, energies here. We're going to get three cards. These have been shuffled off camera. I'm going to go ahead and go into a little bit more. What else are we dealing with? Aha. So take the leap. They need to have faith in themselves. This person, of course. They don't, uh, they don't feel attractive. So they deal with, uh, their own self-worth. Okay. So, um, one of the things that is really bothering them is that they, they don't have faith in themselves. Um, and they need to take a leap and taking that leap is coming to you romantically, by the way. Ha ha. So one of the things that they have not told you about, and I don't believe that they've told you about this and some of them they have. Um, relationship abuse. They've dealt with toxic relationships um, and it has a lot to do with their childhood trauma. Um, they don't have a good relationship with mom now that I'm touching this. Um, they definitely have abandonment. It sounds cliche, abandonment issues from um, dad is a little bit more widely accepted, but this doesn't feel this way. I am really honing in on a relationship with a man and his mom. Um, I feel like filling the void of something that you didn't have is a little bit easier. And I don't even want to say that. It's, it's not that it's easier. It just, we can stomach it better, guys. We can stomach it. It seems that it is, it, it, it is stomached better because it's so widely accepted. More so than the individuals who were not mothered. I don't know a percentage and I'm not going to throw a fake one out there, but this person was not mothered, whether they're male or female. Okay. That is what I'm feeling. Take it as it resonates. Um, they were abandoned. Um, I'm feeling foster child, um, a little bit of foster things going on, um, for some of them. And I don't want to go too much into this. Yes. So they're dealing with heartbreak. And, and honestly, that's interesting because they need to relate, release the pain and healing in the heart. So the reason why they haven't taken the leap with you um, and done what they're supposed to do is because of their heartbreak. Now, for some of you guys, if this heartbreak is with you, that's fine. Remember, this is their confession. So um, this doesn't necessarily have to do with you per se. Now, Capricorn, what's interesting is, is in your, what are they telling you? They're sad about the past, but they want a future. They're stuck in a, uh, in, in a depressive sadness. Watch that video because it looks like these videos are, are hand in hand for you. This individual is depressed or going through something. And maybe for some of you guys, you should just check on your people. You should just, if you love and care for this person, but right now it may not be a time for um, romantic things between you guys, then maybe you should just check on the person um, and be there for them. But I know that they want to take the leap and come out of this childhood trauma and all of this stuff and really move towards you the right way. Um, but they just don't want to bring you into this. They are healing their heart. And unfortunately, I don't know how long that's going to take. If this is your story and you want to keep it pushing, um, we can definitely do that. Let's go ahead and read your specific situation and find out what is going on with you. Um, like, share, subscribe to the marvelous tribe. Wow. They're ready to take the leap. They want to take the leap with you. Um, but they kind of need to focus full time on what's going on inside of them. And you're not a therapist. That's not for you to, you know, to decipher or put your life on hold. But for a lot of you, this person just needs you to be there. Um, they're dealing with some things. And I see, I say that some of you don't e doesn't even know about these things. Um, you may feel like Capricorn that some of you got, you guys are more friend zoned, um, but you're not, you, it seems that way. 
um, but you're not friend zone. This person actually looks at you um, as a person that they can be with. For real, for real. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Uh, Capricorn, at this point, I am done with you and I will see you um, at the end of the month for our second half of the month, which will be starting airy season and we will see what goes on for you at that point bye guys